It's, it's the, the final time, time this season for rounding the bases with Dino and Barks, powered by Dino's Napa Auto Pro on 1460 CJOY. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be honest with you, this wasn't the script I, uh, I wrote up for this team to end the year. Um, you know, you said anyone could beat anyone, but it was a bit of a shock. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, the shock is starting to wear off a little bit. Um, you know, it's so that's why we're today to record. <laughs> I, I didn't that. want to wear my phone. I really, at this point uh, of, of the calendar, I didn't think that we'd be talking about a year end. I thought we'd be closer towards the uh, end of September um, with a little more joyous uh, ending to the season. But uh, it was uh, it was a shocker. It was disappointing, and, and uh, I feel bad for the fans and for the uh, players because. Uh, we had great expectations for this season. Well, let's talk about that, the fans, because you wrote a very heartfelt letter on Facebook, and uh, a number of friends, you know, texted me and said, "Did you see what Dino wrote?" And of course, it did. And uh, but you, you spoke from the heart, and we do have the best fans in your county baseball. No question. And uh, I was, especially on that last day, the, the, the way they stuck through it, as loud as they were, and you know, just it, it was it was it was a great great summer, and. Uh, you know, I guess if you look at it, uh, I, I did say to one of our newspaper guys, um, if you look at it, I guess this, the big success for us was that we brought baseball back after a couple of years off. We brought some excitement. Uh, but, you know, Guelph is my hometown, and, and, uh, and you know, obviously I'm a huge Guelph Royal fan, and, and, uh, and, I, and I appreciate what the fans have done, and I wish we could have a better result for them. Well, I'm not going to harp on the lowlights, but the highlights, you know, Claudio Castillo, 206 strikeouts, awards from the league. Could he be the MVP? He should be. I mean, I, I've been saying this all year. He's not just the best pitcher, he's the best player in the league because he is hitting 400 as well um, as a hitter. Uh, he's just such a dynamic person, a competitor. He was upset that he came out of the game the other day, but, you know, I have to think about his career and his livelihood. Uh, he had thrown 76 pitches two days before. No pitchers go back-to-back, -back, you know, days like that. Like, he... He just wanted to compete, and he gave us an opportunity to win. But you could tell us he was wearing down in the last, in the, in the fifth inning, sixth inning. Uh, he started, you know, he didn't have the same control as fastball, didn't have the same life to it. And sometimes, you know, 75% of Claudio Castillo is better than 90% of the guys at 100%. So um, he uh, he was just tremendous. Uh, we had we exchanged a couple of text messages before he left, and uh, he was very emotional about the loss. And uh, you know, again, one of the one of the greatest guys I've ever been around. And I spoke to a couple of guys that have been in the league a long time. I think he is the best pitcher I've ever seen in this league. Well, uh, Darren Baxter, our news director at CJY, has become a huge fan. And even at the last game, on, he uh, texted me saying, where's Claudio playing? And I said, uh, second base, uh, right field uh, pitcher. Uh, he's better than Shohei Otani because he can do three positions. And uh, Darren became an instant fan. Oh, well, yeah, it's hard not to. It. You know, if you spend time around him, he's a funny guy. Uh, you know, well, always wanted to help the younger guys. Yeah, too. he always wants to help the younger guys. And uh, you know, and, and when he's even when he's pitching, you look over, he puts a helmet on, runs out, grabs the bat from the on deck circle. He chases foul balls down the sidelines. Uh, he's uh, if you he's, want, he'd probably let him go third base if he retired. I told him, he goes. I just don't like sitting around. I, and and he's uh, he's uh, and he's a good family guy. He's got two young kids at home. He left them for the whole summer to come up here. He. He waived uh, an opportunity to make a lot of money in Mexico this summer because he made a commitment here and he loved the community and he loved the way the organization treated him. And just, uh, like I said, just a great individual. And again, the best player I've ever been around. Now, we talked about the fans now. How about the volunteers for the Royals organization? Yeah, no question. Lou Ambro and his family, and, uh, you know, Jordan Ambro, uh, you, who, who made such a huge commitment to us despite working a lot of hours and, and having a lot of things on the go. Uh, Neil Srivastava, uh, the, the list goes on, Mark Graham. But uh, the volunteers were so incredible, made the game day experience so special, and did a lot for the players. And I don't think, I tried to show them there are appreciation throughout the year, but I don't think they know how much the players appreciated what they did. I think having a uh, paramedic photographer too was good for a team. Yeah. <laughs> well, Gar is so talented. He uh, takes so much pride in what he does. His pictures are phenomenal. And what he does for the community, not only with the Guelph Royals, but for a lot of sports teams. And then a paramedic on top of it saves lives. So he's, uh, I, I've known Gar for a lot of years. He's just a great individual. Well, you took a picture of me calling the game with my isotope jersey on. So I sent it down to Albuquerque oh, and uh, John Trout. Yeah, that's what you should be wearing, a Royals hat and an Albuquerque isotope shirt. So, but, uh, so now... 
Well, if you head to next year, yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, you know, we are, and, and there's going to be, you know, a few changes, obviously. We're going to try and talk guys in who we're going to retire. We'd like to bring them back. We, but then I think no matter what happens and what, what my future holds and the direction this organization goes, the one thing we have to take uh, as a positive is that we have a real good young nucleus. Uh, you know, we had incredible performances from Ethan Hammond and Darius Barless and, and uh, Ashley Patterson and Owen Ellis. They all stepped in and did things. This pitching staff has the potential of being really special next year, especially if Claudio comes back. And, uh, you know, some of the guys like Connor Morrow, some of the guys we traded for, Darren Shred. Um, you know, there's an opportunity for this team to be really special next year. I think the one thing that I wanted to have happen was, again, the excitement back to Guelph, the, 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 the room we wanted to build a certain chemistry and certain culture, and I think we did. Uh, we just came a couple of plays short. And, again, I, I keep saying it to them, the only ones who uh, would beat us this year were ourselves, and, and we did. We, we made mistakes where we should have, and, and, uh, but credit Hamilton. You know, they, they were gutsy. They were 20 games behind us in the standings, and, and they beat us. Well, in closing, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me do the PA for a couple of games because I had a ball. And number two, for doing this every Saturday, you know, every Saturday for rounding the bases because people really like the feature. Well, I love you. You're, you're a good friend, Barks, and, and uh, we know a lot of the same people before you came here to Guelph, and you've done such a great job at the radio station, but just if people, I don't think people understand the commitment that you made and, and the sacrifices you made to do this. Uh, I think it's, uh, it speaks volumes for the type of person you are, the type of sports fan you are, and we both love baseball, so this is... This was a great thing for me because we just talk baseball like two friends would, and, yeah. and I think we'll continue to do that even when we don't do this show. Here's the 2023. All right. Thanks again for doing this.